it's so fun now that he's older and we hit small county fairs and find fun fair food and ride and meet up with friends from all over Texas that we've ridden with since he was four, five, and six years old and now we're getting to watch these kids really chase their adult dreams of professional rodeo. Well, as a parent, high school rodeo is, it's, it's history, it's in our blood. Um, for us, it, it really is, it's about family and who you grow up with. You know, the people to our left and our right were some of my best friends in high school, and now we're here with our kids. So, it's about a lot more than just the rodeo and the horses. The rodeo family is the best. Um, it's good to have that support, not only from the people in the, in the truck with you, but on the way up here, we, we had to make a quick stop and we were coming through Denver and we called a friend that happens to be on Tim Cavenders and he, he gave us a spot to stay. So, you know, having people that you can depend on is, is very important. I mean, those are really the, the greatest friendships. Those when they, they see your kid struggling and the ones who will walk up and hug your kid because they know your kid is hurting and struggling. I mean, those, those friendships are absolutely priceless. In America, it's so amazing because all the parents support their kids in any sport, you know, like soccer, baseball, whatever that is, you know, they take the weekends to take their kids and that's so special because, you know, I didn't have a father when I was growing up and and, and that's something that means a lot. I want to give him everything I didn't have as a father to be there for him and to know and he can count on me with anything he wants to. It's just something that I, we're really blessed to be in America. Cooper and John Krimper rode in Brazil together when they were seven years old. Now we live 30 minutes from him. We do just about every single rodeo together and their friendship means everything to me. Seeing them grow up together and, and genuinely, truly want the best for each other and then watch them have a heartbreak and watch the other one hurt for them. I mean, those are just priceless things that you can't teach in any other environment. Oh, there's, there's absolutely zero sacrifice. I said, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what other group of parents would ever live like gypsies and go thousands of miles to the dustiest, hottest places in the country and then call it a vacation? You know, it's hard to farm remotely, but um, my husband's been on the phone and monitoring pivots and um, he got a call Sunday or Saturday night about cattle being out. It's just, you know, it, it, it kind of never ends. Um, so I, I work on the farm with him, but I also have a job as a school nurse. Um, it's nice to have summers off so we can travel and, and go as much as we'd like. When you truly believe in what you're doing and, and you truly believe in your kids and their passions, then it's like any other thing. You, you will sacrifice and you'll work all day and then drive all night to get somewhere. Uh, those are just things that, that you just do uh, because, because they're your kids. It's how proud I am when he makes the whistle or just make a good ride or just, just you know, giving an autograph or whatever. It's involving what I did and now my career was in short for injury and then be able to leave that through him now, it's, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. You know, we spend weekends together, days together practicing, evenings together. It's meant a lot to be able to spend all that time together in the pickup, driving to rodeos and competing and, and having to work together. Now it's like, well, what is next? And I think it's a whole new world, especially for us as parents, probably even more than the kids because, you know, even if they're staying in state or they're still gonna rodeo there, but there's a level of independence where they don't need mom and dad like they did in high school. I can't tell you how many times in the last three weeks that we've been out here, I've said, oh, well, I'll go help you do something, mom. I've got it, I've got it. I need you not to have it. <laughs> I need you to need me. It is the most amazing feeling to me knowing that someday Cooper's gonna be out on that road with buddies, having those experiences and running into those kids that he has met along the way from all over the United States that are, that are his new home team, that are the ones who've known him all these years to say, Cooper, you're a better rider than that. You may have had a rough night, but they're his, they're his new home team as he gets older.